This is an ESR um, kickstand power bank that has wireless MagSafe charging. Um, it's QI2 certified. It won the Red Dot Design Award in 2023. So I received this guy to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you between $35 and $40. They haven't paid me for my review, and my opinions remain my own. So in the box, you get some documentation. You have a USB-C to USB-C cable and this little MagSafe QI magnetic charger. Um, it has a kickstand on the back, so you can use it to hold your phone up. It also has a USB-C port on the side, um, and there is a button over here. When you push the button, it triggers this guy and shows you its current charge level. So currently from the factory, it has, it looks like a single dot there. Um, so it looks like it came mostly discharged from the factory. On the edge of this guy, printed in shiny but hard to read, very small type, it says it's an ESR QI2 MagSlim kickstand power bank, and it says 5K. The model number is 2G522, has a long FCC ID here, has a particular IC number. Um, so this guy has a lithium polymer battery, and the battery is a 5 amp hour battery rated at 3.6 volts DC, 18 watt hours. But it says the rated capacity is 3 amp hours, so I'm assuming that means they're going to deliver 3 amp hours of power out. Um, so it has USB-C input, it will accept either 5 volts or 9 volts, so it looks like 15 or 18 watts as your powering input. And then your output is 5 volts at 3 amps or 9 volts at 2.0. So it looks like maximum output here is between 15 and 19 watts. Um, and then for the wireless output, it says 15 max, 15 watts max. It says the total output is 15 watts max. So it may be that that 9 volt um, doesn't actually give more than 15 watts. We'll have to test that and see. All right, testing the cable that came provided with it. This appears to be a three amp cable. It's limiting here at 2.95 amps. So, you know, three amps is perfectly acceptable for this usage because the device is limited to three amps on the five volt level. So this cable is perfectly matched to the device, but it's not going to allow any more power than three amps to go through it. So the magnetic attachment power is plenty good. Um, no problems there holding your phone to it or it to any metal surface you want to stow it on. So I've plugged this guy into charge, and I've tried several different um, USB-C power delivery phone chargers and, and supplies here. And on a lot of them, it actually just went to the 5 volt level instead of the 9 volt level. So on this particular one, it did negotiate up to the 9 volt level. Um, it's doing 8.8 .8 volts at 1.83 amps, so it's doing about 16 watts in for the, the, the power going in. So it looks like, you know, it's kind of limited to that 2 amp at 9 volt. You know, it looks like 16 to 18 watts is about the most power you're going to be getting in there like this plug here it went to the 5 volt level and it's you know 5 volts at 2 amps so it's doing 10 watts and then this plug here which I know goes up to 20 volts um, the other one I know goes up to at least 9 volts it's also negotiated the 5 volt level you know there's nothing else plugged into these guys um, it seems to be preferring the 5 volt level in this particular case it's only drawing like 1 amp or oh, no, I just dropped up oh, there it dropped up okay so it takes a while, but it does eventually negotiate up to the 9 volt level. So here we're seeing with a wall plug, 9 volts, no sagging there, and it's 1.95 amps. So you're basically getting your full 18 watts in, but it took a good 30 seconds or so before it renegotiated from the 5 volt level up to that 9 volt level. I came back to this plug. I know this plug goes at least to 9 volts. Um, we're just going to let it sit here for a while and see if it negotiates up to 9 volts at some point. And this guy did jump up to the 9 volt level at 2 amps, so it looks like it just takes a while. Um, it, I mean, that's like seriously like at least a minute at 5 volts, and then it kind of renegotiates up to 9 volts. So while it's charging, we have these four little dots. The first one is flashing. My expectation is all four of those will get solid when it's done charging. All right, according to the manual, if you push the power button for three seconds, it'll turn off. Um, there is an oblong light, which is the wireless charging indicator light, and then there's four dots, and those four dots are showing the um, power level of how much battery is remaining. 
So it says you can simultaneously wireless charge output and do USB-C input. So that seems to indicate that it does basically pass through charging. So you can charge the power bank and the phone wirelessly if it's attached to the back of the power bank at the same time. So the wireless charging max output is 15 watts, USB-C max charging input is 18 watts. It says its output is 20 watts, so that's the 2.2 amps on the output at 9 volts. Okay, this guy is fully charged. It's drawing no watts, no amps. Um, the four little white dots are all lit up. All right, so it is discharging at five volts and it's providing 3.02 amps, um, so 15 and a half watts. So it is meeting its specifications on the output at the five volt level. So if I plug it into a phone, it'll go to the 9 volt level. Um, my phone is mostly charged, so it's not probably drawing the full amperage that this guy can put out. But right now it's putting out 10 watts. I've seen it put out up to 13 watts when I had the screen on. Um, so it is definitely hitting the 9 volt level, um, and my phone says charging rapidly. So it, you know, it's doing rapid charging on my phone. All right, this guy's discharged all the way down. Um, if you push the power button and watch these guys here, they basically light up and just flash the last one there is flashing to indicate it's empty. All right, checking the meter, it delivered 14 watt hours, um, 2.8 amp hours at 5 volts. So that's pretty much in line with the rating of what this guy will deliver. All right, I plugged it back in. We're going to charge it up. I've zeroed out the watt hour meter and we'll see how much power it takes to fill it back up to get kind of an efficiency number. And this did jump right to the 9 volt level, so it's 8.7 volts at 2 amps, um, and it's charging at 17.5 watts. Alright, this guy's charged all the way up again. It has four dots there for full charge. Um, to do that, it took 20 watt hours. So we put 20 watt hours in, this guy delivers 14 to 14 and a half watt hours back out. So, you know, 70 to 75 percent efficiency on the charge discharge cycle, which isn't unreasonable. All right, so I put my phone on top. We have this little light here, which looks a little bit more green than blue, but that's the light that turns on when it's doing the wireless charging. Um, and my phone did say here charging wirelessly. I have no way to really test if it's doing the full 15 watts there. I don't even know if my phone supports the full 15 watts, but the wireless charger is definitely working here. Now here's just an example of kind of the kickstand feature of you know, you can basically turn it sideways and have your phone set up um, for movie watching while it's charging. This is not a MagSafe iPhone, so I'm not sure the up and down positioning on a phone that's kind of really designed for this, but you can use this kind of also in a vertical kickstand mode as well. So weight wise, this guy is 5.4 ounces or 152 grams. So this is a small portable power bank, MagSafe, wireless charging, has a kickstand feature that you can prop your phone up while you're charging or just holding it. Um, now, size-wise, you know, it's nice and small. So this is definitely something you carry with you to top your phone up. Um, it only goes up to 9 volts, so it's not useful for topping up devices that might need like 12 volts or 20 volts to charge, but it really doesn't have enough capacity to really like fill up a laptop or anything like that either. Um, so the delivered power out of this guy, I measured at 14 and a half watt hours, which is pretty reasonable. You know, that'll fill up most of your phones at least once, if not twice. Um, it does have a little USB-C port, so you can charge it with that, or you can run a cable from this to your phone. The cable that comes with it is a 3 amp cable, and, you know, this guy can't charge it faster than, you know, two, 3 amps at the 5 volt level, so the cable is perfectly matched for this guy. So I think it really comes down to um, are you looking for the kickstand capability and the magnetic wireless charging. This guy has met all of the specifications that it has for it um, and you know fit and finish looks real nice. The kickstand feels good when you move it in and out. Um, so you know I've been pretty happy with the functionality and features of this guy. Um, I think it's a little small if you want it for anything other than a phone, however. But it is nice and small to carry around if you're just topping up a phone.